Hashtag rise and grind. You see, when my family moved into our new home, we did something really interesting. We didn't really see this coming and it worked out, you know, tremendously. But our children, when we first moved, like just to kind of keep them busy while we were moving, we went ahead and handed them all of their iPads and devices and 3DSs and all of those things, right? We handed them the devices to kind of keep them quiet, keep them settled through this entire process of a move. Well, they had kind of had their devices and been using them up until that point, but mama got mad. My wife got mad at them because they were fighting over who had which iPad and somebody had more games on their iPad than somebody else had on their iPad and this person had this and so on and so forth. And my wife was like, that's it. There are too many children in this house for y'all to be all fighting over iPads. So she grabbed every device and she wiped it. Pow, like factory reset. The kids were like, no, <laughs> right? Hundreds and hundreds of their favorite games and scores and avatars and all of those things. And she just wiped them, pow, straight wiped them all out. And then she took all the iPads and she put them in a box. She said, I'll get these back to you whenever y'all act like human beings quit acting like crazy children. Well, those devices stayed in that box. We unplugged the kids and the craziest thing in the world happened. They started like playing outside, right? They started to really appreciate the grass and the sun in the land that we lived at in our new home. It was a beautiful thing to watch the transformation. When we unplugged our children, they got charged up on this thing called life. And we started to see the masterpiece inside them develop. You know, this weekend I personally I personally watched a whole lot of social media. There are things that are going on in the world. And rapidly, I felt my attitude shift, right? Like I felt my attitude shift and I felt my attitude start to deteriorate a little bit, right? I, I was getting a little bit more edgy, a little bit more emotional. I started to feel all of those things. This masterpiece that I've been working on, this morning five that I do every day, this gratitude and goals and filling myself with positive, taking care of physical, sending out encouraging messages. All of that work on my masterpiece was starting to rot away. It was starting to be deteriorated because I was plugged in. And so I had to unplug Right? I had to unplug. And once I unplugged, I started to recharge. So listen, as our country starts to pick up, as things start to unlock, as we start to go back into uh, some sense of normalcy, as those things start to happen, I don't want you to get lost. I don't want you to get lost in the rat race again. I don't want you to go back to what we used to do again. I don't want you to just automatically get plugged back in and think that that's gonna get you jacked up. You see, we learned a lot of things during this season. We learned that we could connect with people in ways that we had never connected before. We learned that sometimes a drive-by parade can be just as powerful as a gathering or a party. We learned that we can spend time and blend work and home life in unique and creative ways. You see, as a country, we learned to unplug. We learned to slow down. And through that, we've seen some incredibly beautiful breakthroughs. We've seen joy, love, kindness, heartfelt appreciation, and all of these things, they, they charged us back up, right? They, they, they brought us together as humans. And I know that there are things out there right now that are trying to divide us. And I don't want us to just move on and move back and forget, right? We went through this season. It has purpose. It has value. It ultimately is part of this masterpiece of life that we're trying to create. 
So let's make sure to do what it says in our planner. Let's edit our life frequently and ruthlessly, like our friend D says. Let's edit our life frequently and ruthlessly. Right now is an opportunity to do that. Let's take an edit. Let's look at what worked. Let's extract from this situation the good. Let's not make it all be for, for, for nothing. I don't want to have gone through this season for nothing. Do you? No. I want it to be a part of my masterpiece and I want it to be a part of yours. Hashtag rising grind. Hashtag rising grind. First thing on my mind.